Good morning, Riding Trip fans. It's Tuesday morning where we are having a small nor'easter here in New York. And it is, again, a winter wonderland. But I'm not complaining because, as you know from the last time we chatted, I'm headed to Portugal on Friday. So it's not preventing my travel. And I'm looking forward to not wearing a turtleneck for the first time in a few weeks. But today I want to chat for a few minutes about a question that we get often with regard to the rates of our trips. And the question generally comes down to why is one trip so expensive where other trips are less expensive? And it really comes down to the overhead cost. I mean, it's, it's pretty straightforward when you actually break the trip apart. So for example, we have a very popular trip in Ireland, which is our Galway and Clare trail ride. It's a seven night, six day trip. It's really super. I'll actually post a link in the comments below so you can check it out at your leisure. But that trip is, uh, is very inexpensive. I mean, it has a high season and a, and a low season, but even the high season is right around $15.95 for the week which is seven nights, six days of riding, all your meals, your accommodations, the transfers of your luggage from place to place. It's an in-to-in -in ride. And the main reason that that price is so amazingly affordable is that the way that that trip is structured, the way the itinerary goes, is that for the first few nights, the ride itself moves and the horses go from place to place, but you're brought back to the same accommodation, which is owned by your tour guides, Bertie and Nicola. So you're brought back the first four nights to their place. So the overhead cost on that is really just the transportation of, of you back and forth each day. And then for the last few nights of the program, they then have you staying in small hotels and uh, local B&Bs where you are dining family style. And actually you're dining family style on that entire trip, which again helps. So the meals are, are made en masse for the group. Uh, dietary restrictions are certainly taken into account. But again, it's set up so that, that really, you know, they're delivering a very high quality product a lot of fun, you know, really super scenery, but the price, you know, is not, is not expensive because of the way they have it structured. Now I'm going to flip that and talk about one of our other rides that is more expensive. Uh, two of our rides that are more expensive, actually. One is uh, a ride in Spain. And in fact, it, it, this pertains to several of the rides in Spain that are run by this one particular operator called Equiberia. These rides are more in the realm of like $3,100, you know, inclusive of tax and all of that, just like all of our trips. But those rides are rides where you really don't lift a finger. You, you get up, you have breakfast, you come out and your horses are all ready. Whereas on the Ireland ride, you're catching and grooming your own horse every day, but you, uh, your horse is all ready. You get on, you ride. Uh, the stops during the day are set up with, with lovely aperitivo stops, which is sort of a mid-morning little refresher where there is juice and coffee and sherry, which is a very Spanish tradition. And, and then lunch is a pretty extravagant detail, again, on the trail, but absolutely lovely. I mean, it's really an elegant picnic lunch, sometimes hot, sometimes cold, always really excellent quality food. And then dinner on those trips, the, the, the Spain trips run by Equiberia, is always in the hotel restaurant. And that there's two pieces to that that I wanna chat about. The first is you are staying in five-star hotels. I mean, the places are absolutely gorgeous along the way. And when you're dining in the restaurants, the Spanish wine is included with your dinner and you are ordering off the menu. So you have your choice and it's not like you're ordering off of a menu that is, you know, three appetizers, three entrees, three desserts that you can choose from. You're getting the regular restaurant menu. So you have full sort of carte blanche to order, you know, basically anything you want. There are a couple of caveats because the restaurants sometimes have specialty items that are surcharged even for the folks, you know, who are dining not on a riding program, but you would expect that anyway. 
And so, you know, but it's white tablecloths. It is, you know, the whole full service scenario. Uh, and, and it's just a, and, and the riding is of course spectacular as well again. So, but the, but the primary difference is that you're looking at a different level of accommodation and a different level of service as well as a place where it's not owned by the guide. So it's complete overhead cost at that point. Uh, and additionally, you're not having, again, to lift a hand. You finish breakfast, you walk out, you get on your horse, and off you go. At the end of the day, you hand your horse over to someone else, and you go and have a, a cocktail after a day of riding. So it's a, it's a completely polar opposite experience, uh, similar a completely polar opposite budgetary uh, wise experience is the ride that we offer in Machu Picchu, which is also extremely luxurious. You are literally riding in places that are only accessible on horse or by uh, on foot. So, you know, if you need, if you have a need to, to get down for emergency purposes of some kind, you have to get home or something happens, you know, the only way down is, is to be carried down by a couple of the porters or by helicopter. I mean, there's no vehicle that's gonna get to you. So when you pull up on this ride to some of the lodges where you're staying and you walk in and see a squishy down comforter on a bed and you, know, you hand your horse over at the end of the day and you get a beverage at the bar and you take it out to the hot tub to watch the sunset over the valley and you realize that you're sitting there in a place that is completely isolated. It's not near any village, it's not near any town, and yet you have more than the creature comforts than you would have at home. It's, you know, you so you go, okay, fine, that trip is in the realm of $4,000, but again, everything has to be brought to you on, on mule. So it's, you know, all the provisions are, are trekked in, you know, not by vehicle, but, but hand brought in. So it's, you know, I, and I'll post links again to uh, one of the rides in Spain that I was mentioning from Ecuberia, as well as the ride to Machu Picchu. So you can sort of see, but it's one of the things that, that again, we talk about a lot when we see you. We talk about it a lot when we're on the phone with you, but also when we see you at trade shows, because I think sometimes people think, wow, what, why would I take a trip that's 3,000 or 4,000 dollars when I can take a trip that's 1,600 dollars? And I just want to assure you that all of them are exceptional. And, and really, once you go on, on any of them, you, you absolutely will understand what the value is. It's sometimes a challenge for us to, to sort of say to you, look, this is why you should spend that money, you know, because I think you're going to have a really superb time. Once you get there, you totally get it. You're like, totally got it, you know, no problem. But it is a little bit confusing when you're just looking at a web page with dates and prices and another web page with dates and prices, you know, and it's kind of hard to understand why you would want to pay double for something. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. I will uh, post the links as mentioned, or you can visit the web page, activeridingtrips.com. I will also, uh, on the next uh, chat with you, have a talk about the places that we work with. Uh, I want to chat about why we choose the places we choose and how we choose them so you understand, you know, what we look for and why we are so particular about the rides that we offer. But for now, I am wishing you all a happy Tuesday wherever you are. I hope you're having a great day. This is Stacy saying over and out. See you next time. Thanks a lot.